Hi guys, hello and welcome to 360 for all, the show to learn to make great 360 videos. My name is Cécile Eskenazi and you are on VR Journey channel. Today I would like to talk about a great app that I found and if you watched my previous video with the best kept secret about 360 videos, you do know that uh, mobile apps are a great way to edit 360 videos and it's actually a lot easier and faster than on PC, at least for simple editing. And there is this great new app called V360, uh, which I've been trying as a beta tester for a few weeks now. And they actually just launched, so they are uh, now available and they are no longer in beta and they're available on the App Store. So their name is V360 and I'm going to show you how the app works. I'm on an Android phone. The app has just been released for Android and iOS will come a bit later. Sorry, Apple fans, uh, but uh, it will come soon. So um, these are a few apps that I use for managing my 360 videos. And then you can see the V360 uh, icon there. So I tap it. And the welcome screen is already quite fun. It's, uh, they've included a 360 video in there with the Golden Gate Bridge. Beautiful view of San Francisco. Nice touch, guys. Uh, so it starts with this uh, screen where it's asking you, it's prompting you to select your 360 clips to get started. So let's do that. So this is my library of the clips I have on this phone. And those are videos that I shot at the Google campus. They have some really funky giant chairs of different colors. And I had fun one afternoon when I had a, a meeting at Google. And then uh, I thought I would make great 360 views. I never got a chance to edit those videos. So that's my chance today. So I will pick a few of those. I think I'll pick um, this one, this one. And that one, I don't need the orange chair twice. So we'll add the three clips. They come preloaded. They're right here. They start playing so I can actually view what I'm doing in the 360 uh, video already right there. And I, um, so I have my three clips and then I can start the edit. So. I press this little pencil button to start editing. So the first thing I can do is order the clips uh, in which way I want. So there's a sort button there um, which says drag and drop to sort manually. So I can actually move the clips around like this and just drag and drop to where I want. So if I want that blue chair in the middle I just long press and then drop it in the middle, I can do that. But there's also those buttons to do this automatically. So this is sorted by date, oldest first, and then uh, sorted by date, newest first. Which is not what I wanted, actually. I wanted to start with this view and then have the blue chair in the middle. So that's what we're gonna do. And uh, I'm happy with that. And the next thing I'm going to do is uh, trim the clips. So I wanna trim the first clip and then I see, so there's the, the total duration of this clip is 16 seconds. And I can actually uh, pick this option, automatically trim the last two seconds of all clips. I will select that. And this is actually very handy because usually the last two seconds, that's when you press the shutter button and there's a big thumb on the video. Or when you press the stop recording button on your smartphone and it doesn't look good because you're not looking. So in any case, I think it's a good idea. Uh, and you can also, so if you move two seconds, so I have 14 seconds left and I can also decide to manually change the length of that clip. So I have now 10 seconds of this clip and I'm happy with that. So I say, okay. And I want to edit the second one. And again, I'd like to trim that clip. Uh, we can see that the uh, last two seconds have been removed automatically. And I can change the start point. And I don't have to just finish at minus two seconds. I can move this also. I have another about 10 seconds uh, clips. 
And actually, I think it's good practice to keep them short because 360 videos sometimes, um, if they're static like that, there's not a lot happening apart from me sitting in the chair. So um, I will try and create a, a very short, short video. And that's my last clip. It's uh, 19 seconds. So again, I will make it a bit shorter. Let's say 13 seconds. And then I'm happy. So I have my three clips now. Uh, my video total time is 35 seconds. It's actually quite short. So what I can do is I can add a fourth one. So I could, I could do that um, at the end. Maybe I'll add that. And the one I added is a bit long, so I will trim it as well. And then you can see me standing. <laughs> standing, sitting. So let's keep about 15 seconds of that. And now I'm happy I have a video of 51 seconds. You can actually duplicate some clips if you want. If you want to start and end with the same thing, it might be a fun thing to do. And actually, I will. I want to have the blue chair in the middle. I don't want to have the two clips with the uh, orange chair next to each other. So I've moved that again. So now I have my clips in the right order. I have my the right lens. It's been trimmed. What I want to do is to add some music. So I press this little music button. And uh, I can actually add music from my library, but I don't have any music on this phone. So it's quite handy that they provided a music library. And it's quite an extensive music library. It's uh, on the cloud, so it's not using space on the app, which is good. And then I played around with it earlier. I know that I like this music, so I think I'm going to pick this one. So what I do is I say, use this music. And they've added a handy feature so you can pick if the music is louder or less loud than the actual sound of the video. So my videos don't have a lot of sound, you could mix like that. So this is music low, video normal, or music normal, video low, or music high, video none, if you want to override it. I'd say music low, video normal. I save it like that, press OK, and now I think I'm happy with the result. So, I'm starting to preview actually, so what I want to do next is save. I press the big save button at the bottom. Are you ready to save your awesome 360 video? Yes! So that takes a bit of time, not a lot of time actually considering what's going on there, but let's wait. Saving video. All right, so it's finished saving the video. I can watch it. So you can see the chairs. You can see the, there's the different chairs, the blue chair. And there's some other funky stuff in that garden. It's actually a very playful place. Um, that's the blue chair. And the music is really nice. And quite trippy. I think it goes really well. It goes really well with that, that video. So I'm really happy with it. Uh, I'm gonna watch it till the end just to make sure. And then what's the options to share it? So they have a watermark at the end so it's branded V360. They'll have options to remove this um, if you purchase the app. Which is fair enough. I would happily pay a few dollars to have this app without the watermark, or you can keep the watermark, it's no big deal. So now I can share it. Sharing video, please wait, right? And they say tag us with uh, V360. Well, it's disappeared. Tag us with V360 app, hashtag V360 app to be featured on our page. So you can share it with usual suspects, whatever you have on your phone, basically. So I think that will go on my page, a VR journey. 
All right, guys, so I hope it's helpful. I hope you found out that there is this uh, new app that you can use to edit your 360 videos. It's pretty easy and straightforward and actually uh, faster than importing to your computer and doing the edit on your computer. For simple editing, I think doing everything on the smartphone is really the easiest way. So you can get the app on, the, uh, on their website. It's at getv360.com and they're also available uh, directly on the App Store. So go have a look and have fun with it. Um, create your own videos. And if you want to share the links to your videos, you can do so in the comments down below. And I will pick a few and I will showcase them in my playlist 360 videos from you, which is a playlist on my uh, YouTube channel, VR Journey, just for view videos from my, uh, my viewers and my subscribers. So don't hesitate to, to drop me a line if you want to be showcased there. Right, that's it for today. I will, uh, in the next videos, I will show some more editing tips and tips are generically around uh, 360 videos and 360 photos. So in the meantime, go shoot, have fun and please send me some feedback. Don't hesitate to comment on, on the video and stay tuned for more. Oh, and also, of course, subscribe. All right, thank you guys. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.